Shiz. Shiz. I did vlog on the 16th. That's going to get uploaded tonight. Today is the 20th, I think. It's Friday or something. All right? So I did vlog yesterday. That's going to get uploaded tomorrow. And this vlog that you're looking at now, it's going to get uploaded two days from now. So there you go. A lot of shit happened this week. Um, a lot of personal stuff, so I'm not going to really get into it. Uh, a lot of personal stuff happened. And my nose is itching like sound because of allergies. Oh my goodness. I gotta get that nose itching cream. You know that jock itch spray that you get for your jock? It works on your nose too, and it, it does wonders. What the hell? This, this whole week has been crazy, okay? I got a toothache that I'm gonna get taken care of on Wednesday. And that's one reason why I haven't really been on here much because. A toothache doesn't want me, I don't want to do anything with a toothache. But you know what works? Peanut butter. I don't know what it is about peanut butter. But what the dentist told me was the peanut butter doesn't really do anything for you. What it does is it covers up the nerve because it's so thick. Notice that when you drink something, like, like something lukewarm, it, it covers up the nerve for like a split second. That's why you don't feel any pain for a split second when you're drinking something like lukewarm. And I'm not talking about anything hot because that only irritates it or anything cold. Or something lukewarm. Well, when you're, uh, the peanut butter, because it's so thick, stays in your mouth a little bit longer and you shove it down that, the cavity of your tooth and it just covers with that nerve that gets irritated because of the air, you know, the, the cold air or whatever. So that's what helps reduce the pain that throbbing pain you feel when you have a toothache. Hold on a second, folks. i got to make this shoe turn here. It's a very dangerous intersection. I want to say do something about it. Okay. All right, YouTube. Oh, I just hit a bird. Seriously, I just hit that bird. That bird is gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding, YouTube. A bird flew from over from my left side went right in front of the grill of my car, and I heard a like a, I don't know, you've never heard it on the video. I'm not sure. It wasn't that loud, but it was like a, like that. Woo! That, and I saw the bird dead uh, against the curb there. But that bird is gone. I, I don't like doing that, seriously. I really, I, I'm not going to say I'm a tree hugger. Okay, I'm really not. I'm not that much of a tree I love paper. <laughs> but, but life is something. I mean, it's, it's life is very precious. And even if, and, Unintelligent. I don't know if that's unintelligent or unintelligent. I don't, I don't give a fuck. If it's an unintelligent species, okay, like a bird, it's dumb as fuck, okay? It's still life. And if I was a bird, I want to live. Now, was the bird stupid enough to fly in front of my car? Maybe he thought he had a chance. Maybe he thought he was ahead of the wind shear. I don't know. Or maybe this bird did not, I don't know, maybe he wanted to commit suicide. Who knows? Ugh. Boy, so much excitement this week. I swear, this week has been way over the top. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy week. Just waiting for it to be over. I'm, I'm, pick, I'm picking up my last paycheck from this place here. Part Hanks. My last paycheck. Yes. I wasn't fired. I was laid off. Which is worse? I don't know. Being fired or laid off. Well, either way, you get unemployment, right? 
So, I mean, it's kind of a funny feeling. I'm driving up here to pick up my last check because I can't just walk in. I have to check in with security and, yeah, it's different this time. I'm working on some videos all afternoon, trying to get some stuff done, and it's a lot of work. Um, the last video I worked on is the um, Shiz. Well, it was actually the moving uh, infrastructure, show number four, which has already been uploaded. And now the video for the next Shiz vlog, which happened on July 16th, is being rendered. And once I render that, um, then I'm going to work on video that I shot yesterday on the 19th, and then I have to work on video that I did today. Very low views, uh, according to, if you look at it compared to like Chris Perillo to Buckus, uh, you know, this guy named Toby Turner, I think his name is, he is like ultra popular. I mean, he gets like a million hits per show. But you have to admit, the dude is funny. Uh, the book is it's funny, it's hilarious, I'm laughing every single minute. It's um, Daily Grace and, and I Justine, they're funny too, but to book is, I swear, is, he's out there. He, he just goes out there. And he doesn't care carrying a camera in public and just acting a damn fool. He doesn't care. Um, so I, I really admire that because eventually I want to get to that point where like I'm standing on my patio right now, and already I just wave at somebody like, hi. <laughs> and, you know, and who cares who's looking at you when you're doing this stuff? Who cares? You know, you may feel a little strange at first when you start doing this, when you're uh, producing videos and you're out in public and you got a camera in front of you where there's a whole, you know, digital camera. Um, a video camera or if it's a cell phone, you know, but you just walk around like this all day and just be like, hey, blah, 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 and it's okay, because you know why? Because the people that you, that are looking at you crazy are never going to see you again. Some people may recognize you. I mean, like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. Well, great. The things I'm into are business productivity uh, software that Microsoft produces, that Google Apps produces. I'm into technology. I'm into gadgets. I'm into uh, things that are fun. I'm into thrill rides, like uh, the biggest roller coasters in the world. Unfortunately, here in Austin, Texas, there isn't a theme park nowhere in sight, but there is a theme park in San Antonio. I heard, I heard there's another theme park in Houston. Um, but where I'm from in L.A., there were theme parks everywhere. Within a 20-mile radius, you can get to four different theme parks. Knox Prairie Farm, Disneyland, Magic Mountain. And um, um, Disneyland, Magic Mountain, Knox Prairie Farm, and there was one more, or Universal Studios. In Austin, it's really not, not nothing here. It's, but what Austin has, which makes it such a great city, is that it's a city of the weird, Okay. It's um, keep it weird. It's their Logan. It's their slogan. Logan. It's their slogan. <laughs> and um, keep it weird. They got a ton of restaurants, a ton of live performances, you know, by different bands. So what I like to do is, even though I can't really show you the bands performing, because that's copyright infringement, according to YouTube, that will ban my channel. They may even delete my channel and. That would kind of suck because I put a lot of investment into this show. But, um, you know, it's a show the weirdness of Austin. All right. I'll get in a mix, the late, late night snack. Yeah, I'm used to being up this late because at my old job, as now I can call my old job, I work from um, 3.30 p.m. until midnight, um, Tuesday through Saturday. So I'm used to being up this late, and so when I come home at about midnight, I'm usually hungry at this time. It's like what some people would call, you know, coming home at 6 o'clock after being at work from 9 to 5 or something like that. 
the best freaking cups. I love my Dixie cups. Alright, so, um, I don't know if you saw that on the ground, but there was a bunch of Dixie cups. It seemed like someone was having a good time tonight. Churches! I know. It's all fattening food, but you know what? I want, my budget is 10 bucks, and that's all I'm going to spend is $10 tonight. It's funny, they got a KFC and a churches within like a few hundred feet of each other. I don't know if you can see it, but on the left hand side, there's a KFC, and on the right, about to see in a minute, there is a churches. Doesn't make any sense, I know. Oh, shoot, I can't enough to drive through here. All right, let me make a little quick UE here. Wee! All right. Ooh, I don't know if they're, they're probably not open right now. They're probably closed at 11. Yeah, I think they're closed. Oh, you suck. You guys really suck balls. Major freaking meat, big ass fucking meatballs on a freaking spaghetti platter. The ones that are very hairy. Oh, I, was, I had a taste for some crunchy, yummy, greasy churches chicken with shit loads. Shit loads, I might remind you. Shit loads. Yeah, they're closed. Darn it. Shit loads of hot sauce. I mean, I want my mouth to burn when I eat that chicken. I want my mouth to water when I eat that chicken. I want to be like, whoo, man, where is the Kool-Aid? Shit, chicken's hot. Let's see, is that? Sonic is open. Good. Sonic is open. That's a good thing. And I, I don't have very much battery, so this phone may die on me pretty soon. Hopefully, it will give me enough power to get all the way through Sonic and back. You know, when I record video on this phone, usually the phone power will last all day. It will last all day, not a problem. But for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, um, when I record video, Okay, when I record video, it drains all the batteries. It's just gone. And I need to get a car charger. I used to have one, but I broke it. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Turn off the car, save the gas. See, I had my mind for Charger's Chicken, so now I now have to readjust my programming of tonight to something that's not church's chicken. So let's try this. Sonic, I just didn't have a, really didn't have a taste for hamburgers tonight. Yes, uh, let me get a, a number one with cheese. Mayonnaise, okay? Mayonnaise is great. And um, let me get a, um, the new bacon cheddar smokehouse cheeseburger double. And let me get um mozzarella sticks. Ranch or marinara? Uh marinara. Was that complete order? Yeah, in fact, you know what? Uh make that two marinara and on that bacon cheddar smokehouse cheeseburger seal, <laughs> let me get the full meal on that. Oh, no, no fish fries? Fries is fine. Okay, fries. And um, on that number one, no fries, no drink. Okay, what was... Okay, let's see. What do I want? I don't know yet. I have no idea. Uh, Dr. Pepper. Okay, no problem. Will that complete your order? That's it, right there. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. 
I got two one hundred dollar bills, a ten, and two ones. Got it? Shoot. Yeah, um, I just realized um, I have two one hundred dollar bills, but I also have twelve dollars. I don't have fourteen eighty. So um, I know you guys will take one hundred, right? Okay. Well, you know what? Let me ask you this: How much would it be if I got the bacon cheddar smokehouse cheeseburger sandwich by itself? Everything else the same. Okay, thank you. All right, I didn't realize, so I thought I had like a 20 in here or something. But I don't. I just got $100. Okay. Oh, didn't I say I was going to keep it under 10? I think at churches I would have, would have been able to keep it under $10. In God we trust, $100, the United States of America. This note is legal tender for all debt, public and private. Federal Reserve Note. Which means this shit doesn't mean anything. Except for the fact that we trust that it's $100. I mean, we just have to trust that, you know. Oh, well. This is mine coming. Right here. Yep, she said it this way. Yep, there it is. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? All right, my name is Liz. Liz. <laughs> a number two. A mayo cheeseburger. You have mayo cheeseburger by itself. The number two is the smoky dough. I order mozzarella sticks with marinara and dipping sauce, and then you have a medium fries and a medium Dr. Pepper dessert. Sounds good. Let me catch up. Uh, that's it. Uh, no ketchup, no, no ma'am. Do you have any hot sauce on your show? Just a hot sauce. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you much. You have a good day, man. Oh, yeah. That's... Thank you. You too. I just read in the news about the shooting that happened in um, the Batman movie, the new one that came out. And I, I don't, it, it, it just boggles the mind that you go to a movie theater and you start to sit down, relax, to some popcorn. To some extra huge, um, big red or, or, or uh, red hots, and you got the extra size movie size that costs like ten dollars to buy. Uh, you spec, you know, you got your jumbo drink, you know, that you got to use the bathroom an hour later after drinking it, and um, you start to have a good time with a nice sound system that's really loud. You got a big screen in front of you because in a premiere. Usually, especially in a good theater, the screen is huge. You know, they got them in the biggest theater. The screen is huge. They got the sound system cranked up loud. They got the bass kicking really loud. So every explosion you're feeling. And then people are sitting in the theater hearing these gun, these gunshot sound effects. And they're not realizing that they're actual bullets. You know, um, not sound effects that's created by Lucasfilm or whoever edited the sound, these are actual bullets flying past people's heads. How many people died? Fourteen people. That's unimaginable. It's just ridiculous that you can't go to a movie theater and enjoy a good movie. I don't get it. Like this video.
Shiz.